Coffee filters in a survival situation? Let's check it out. You gotta improvise to survive. One of the most popular things that we do here on the Sensible Prepper channel is take everyday items and show multiple uses in a survival situation. One thing that's really different, uh, but that is very common, especially if you drink coffee, are coffee filters. And there are a lot of different sizes and types. Of course, you have this basket type, you have this um, kind of a triangular shape. These come in different sizes as well. And also it comes in white or you can get the non-dyed. I mean, there's a lot of different choices because there's a lot of different coffee drinkers out there. So we're gonna look at 30 ways to use coffee filters in a survival situation. And guys, there are a ton of different ways that are just everyday hacks. But for us, for survival, this makes a great way to be able to improvise to survive. The great thing about coffee filters is they are cheap. I mean, they are very inexpensive and you can get a lot. Uh, this has 200 filters and you know, they're just really inexpensive. Of course, you get up into the triangular types and these are a little bit more expensive. Uh, this is what they call the number two size and then the number four is large. Uh, instead of getting another white, I wanted to get these undyed filters and uh, this is just a little bit more healthy uh, plus it's a little more subdued color so first off these are just super expensive to have and to have around the house and typically if you're a coffee drinker you've got these anyway so it makes it really easy to be able to use this in a survival situation of course the number one survival use is coffee Guys, if I don't have my coffee in the morning, it is SHTF. <laughs> but there's nothing worse than getting up and realizing you used your last filter and you have none. Paper towels come to the rescue, but it's not the same. Keeping your computer screens clean or your phone, you know, you get those fingerprints all over them and this just wipes it up. It's soft enough and yet it gets all those off. Cleaning your eyeglasses, you know, they can get those oils on there and just gunk and uh, keeping those clean. Now you can use a little water or you can use some water and vinegar and that always helps. Now if you've ever been on a picnic or you're hiking, camping and you set your food down and you've got flies that are flying around, which is a very big annoyance, just take the coffee filter, cover it up, and you keep those flies and insects off of it. I mean, I know you get a little added protein from the flies laying on it but um, I think I'll leave mine just like it is. That's pretty good. Now I'm gonna demonstrate this next use with just a regular jar. A big wide mouth jar would work better. But take your coffee filter, place it over the jar. You can take something to tie it down with. I'm using some paracord here. And you can capture water in the morning just by setting this out or even rainwater and it keeps the leaves and debris out and then it filters your water. Now, this also makes a good fire tender. It'll burn really nice. Also, if there's a lot of smoke around, put this over here and use it for a mask, whether it's dust or smoke. <laughs> Keeping vegetables and produce fresh, you can drop it in if you don't have a baggie, Ziploc baggie. Wrap this up, and when you put it in your refrigerator, it doesn't get soggy and slimy. <laughs> Coffee filters also can dab up the grease. And as you know, when you're cooking out in the outdoors, it can be a lot of grease and uh, help settle your stomach. This has turned out to be a really good video. <laughs> Might not be entertaining for you, but it is for me. Of course, keeping your skillet clean, of course you don't need to wash it. Keeping it wiped down good, good as new. And if you're having to share a plate, or a plate's dirty, you can put your coffee filter down and put your food on a clean coffee filter. Now we can use this as a funnel. So I'm gonna put two of these together just to keep the seepage down a little bit. You could even put two or three. We're just gonna trim off the edge 
Then we can just pour the water in without losing as much. It's still going to seep through the filter a little bit, but you're going to get most of it. And if you make a mess, you can use the coffee filter to soak up the water. This is a great surrogate in case you run out of paper towels. Now I have to clean the whole thing. <laughs> it's not going to help a lot with this old rusty drum, but you definitely get the idea. Also starting seeds, alfalfa sprouts, here's some radishes. Put a few in there. Close this up. You can even tie it off. Give it a little bit of water. And you'll have sprouts growing in no time. Again, alfalfa seeds, you can eat those directly, uh, even these radishes, but uh, this also gives it a good starter for the spring to be able to get those little sprouts to be able to plant. Obviously, if you need to make notes, uh, you can use this paper. And it makes it really easy to do. And if you need a spot of tea, we put our tea leaves here in the filter. We're gonna seal this up. Take some twine, just tie this down, and then just put it in hot boiling water. Before long, you'll have a nice cup of tea for tea time. Of course, if you need an improvised bowl, just drop your food in there and you can hold it without keeping it in your hands, especially if your hands are dirty, and it makes a nice little bowl or a small plate if you just lay it out. This chicken's seeing a lot of use. <laughs> and then when you're finished, you can just wrap it up and put it in your pack better than this laying right next to your rain poncho or you can use this as a doggy bag at a restaurant <laughs> of course with winter coming up you can always use this as tissue oh of course having some kind of source of light candles are going to be around as you can see this wax is getting everywhere take a coffee filter set it on top and at least it'll protect that wax or your surface from getting that wax on it Taking good care of your pets during SHTF, this is much better to put the dog food or cat food in a bowl rather than just on the ground where all the dirt and everything else gets in it. And of course, set it down. Okay, all done. There you go. Good boy. This is suit security right here, baby. <laughs> He'll chew your arm off if he don't know you. Now obviously we know what this is used for, but if you're out of this, this makes a decent surrogate. <laughs> Better than leaves. Now baking soda is known to absorb odors. So if we take our filter, put some baking soda in there, then we'll just take it and wrap it up into a ball. Take our twine. And of course, just drop it down in your shoes or your work boots. We've got the string left over, we can pull it right out. A lot better than just dumping baking soda in the bottom of your shoe. It gets on your socks, it gets everywhere. Then when you get ready to wear them, pull it out, and you have nice, fresh footwear. Of course, this can go in your bug out bag, your car, a number of different places to absorb odors. And for the ladies in your life, this can be used as an improvised feminine hygiene product. Uh, panty liners or even a tampon if you roll that up uh, but you know I'm no expert so that's what I'm told <laughs> one critical element in survival is water you can only live three days without water and drinking good fresh water keeps you healthy uh, here we have a filter this is a life straw there's a lot of different types uh, but going and taking dirty water directly into your life straw is going to lo just lower the life span of your filter Take your coffee filter, place it in whatever container you're using, and then here we have some really dirty water. Takes a little time for it to drain, but it does keep all of those that dirt and those leaves and everything else out of your water. And that's not a bad pre-filter. I mean, everything's filtered out, it looks clean. But again, run that through your filter. Now I've got some spots here on my sweatshirt. Take my coffee filter clean those up since I didn't have my bib with me and yes thumbs way up now there's no substitute for a real first aid kit uh, these items are sanitized they're specifically made to treat wounds and things like that but 
if you don't have anything, you can definitely use this to stop the bleeding. You can get the bleeding, just push it down, add pressure. Uh, this can even be used to pack wounds. Even though I'm not recommending that, it's better than bleeding to death, but having the right gear is the most important thing. Guys, take your filter, fold it up, just dip it in the water, drain off the excess water. Just put that on your forehead. It can relieve a headache um, if you put enough on there. Um, also, if your eyes are burning, you can use that cold compress under your eyes. Of course, after all that food I've been eating, it can be used as a wet wipe. <laughs> now guys, there are a lot of other uses for the coffee filters. Uh, down in the comments below, please leave your ideas. A lot of people read through those and it just makes it a good community to be able to learn how to improvise to survive. And guys, that is so important. So again, guys, taking everyday items to use in a survival situation, it makes prepping so much easier. Uh, you know, trying to get everything that you possibly need together is impossible. And being able to improvise can save you a lot of time, a lot of money. And if you run out of something, this gives you just more tools in your toolbox. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. It's about like H, it's H-H-T-N for it's or time. <coughs> Man, where's that coffee filter? Oh yeah, good clean air. So we'll take one of the filters, set it in this container. Take your coffee filter, place it. See, here we go, cleaning up with our coffee filter. <laughs> That's a good boy. Oh yeah, good boy. <laughs>